Hey guys, Justin here. If you're looking to get a new pack, this is a pack that I'm gonna to review today that I definitely think that you should take a look at. I have here the Mountain Smith Zerk 40. It's a frameless pack, and we'll get into a little bit what that means when we talk about features and function. But first, let's kick it off with specs. Full disclosure, Mountain Smith did send me this pack for free, but they did not influence this review in any way. They have not seen this beforehand. The pack costs $220, weighs 710 grams out of the box, and has a 40 liter capacity with it fully extended, and then 30 liter capacity if you can press it all down. Its dimensions are 18. 0.5 inches long by 11.75 inches wide and 7.75 inches deep and what that means is you can bring it on carry on and that was one of the big things that I liked about this pack and why I picked it up I had a trip planned to Machu Picchu and I wanted to just do carry on not have to check my bag at all moving on to features and function this is a roll top pack so once you undo the straps here you can see that the top rolls up and I love roll top packs I just find them a little bit easier to use flipping it around you can see it has these really nice big wide shoulder straps that are in a running vest style. So it's quite wide down here. And that is awesome. This pack carries weight really, really well. It's rated to carry 30 pounds and Mountain Smith is on the mark with that one. I've carried 30 pounds, even a little bit more when I'm on the trail and it's carried it no problem. Because it doesn't have a hip belt, all that weight is riding on your shoulders and you don't have any weight being transferred to your hips. But because the shoulder straps are nice and wide and cushioned, it's not that big of a problem, but you do feel it in your traps at the end of the day. And while it is a frameless pack, it does have a piece of foam in the back here that gives it a little bit of structure. And I'd really like that. And that's what allows it to carry a little bit more weight than a lot of other frameless packs. Most frameless packs out there, they kind of max out around 20, 25 pounds maybe. But this pack carries weight really well. And that's what kind of sets it apart from a lot of other packs out there that I looked at. As you've probably already noticed, there's also a ton of pockets on this pack. So each shoulder strap has two pockets on it. There's this outer pocket and then another pocket that has a little cinch on it here. And I love that. I love being able to just reach into things and grab my snacks. I also keep my be free water filter here. So it's easy to grab and I can filter water on the go. And then there's two side pockets as well. So there's a side pocket here that you can keep things like bear spray or water. And then there's a little side pocket that stretches out from that that I like to keep snacks or it's really good for garbage as well. On the other side, the water bottle pockets are pretty easy to get to. I use one liter smart water bottles and because of their length, they're quite easy to grab. But what I find is if I have two things in this pocket, then I can't grab the water bottle because it's on this nice angle and it's standing more upright and then I can't reach back and grab it. Then there's one more big pocket on the front, big mesh pocket. This thing is super stretchy. You can get a lot of stuff in here. And I've been doing some bushwhacking with it and I haven't had any holes or abrasions on it yet. So that's a really good sign. A lot of the time, you will end up with little holes on here. And I think that's just something that's gonna happen with every pack. And while pockets may be the name of the game with this pack, there's also a whole bunch of straps. There's this top strap that you do up. There's side straps that you do the roll top to. There's these side cinch straps that you can use to compress the pack down. And I find there's maybe a bit too many straps on here. I think in the long run, I'll probably be removing quite a few of these straps. I'll probably remove the roll top straps and then just roll it up and cinch it in at the top there. I'll probably remove this top strap as well. And the reason why I'd remove the top strap, I find them pretty useful, but something that this pack comes with is a removable V strap. And it's made for putting a barrel on top of your pack. And because I have that option, I don't need this other strap that's on there. Something I wish Mountain Smith did, and maybe they'll do this on the next iteration, is make all these straps removable. REI and some other companies, they have little toggles on the straps so you can remove any of them and put them in different places. And that's a really nice feature because I'm gonna have to probably just end up cutting them off and then I don't have the option of putting them back on. What they did re make removable is this optional hip belt. So it has two little toggles there that you can just put on the sides and use it that way. I find it adds a little bit more stability to the pack and does take a tiny bit of weight off your shoulders, but most of the time I don't use it, but the option is there. And that brings us into comfort. Like I've already mentioned, I find this pack pretty comfortable. I weigh 180. 185 pounds and I'm 5'10 and this pack fits me quite well. I think if you are under 170, 165 pounds, this pack may be a little bit big for you, but because it is frameless, it does allow for it to fit a lot wide range of torso sizes, but mostly above that 165 pound range. I've already talked about the carrying capacity of this pack, wide shoulder straps and the foam piece in the back allows it to carry 30 plus pounds quite well. So if you are somebody who has a little bit of a heavier pack, I know for me in Canada, just because we have to carry so much more cold weather gear, my pack's a little bit heavier than most people, especially people down in the States, down in Florida, California. So I need something that can carry 20, 25 to 30 pounds. And this pack does that. And I wanted to try out going frameless and hip beltless just to see what it's like. It is really nice not having the hip belt 
and having that constriction, you can really get a lot more mobility with your legs. And if you are doing some scrambling, which I have been doing on some of my overnight trips, then this pack is really nice for that as well. And if you're someone who likes to move quickly, sometimes even run, then the running vest style shoulder straps allow you to do that. I've actually used this with about 25 pounds in it and I've run down the trail and it's been really stable and really comfortable to run in. As for quality of the pack, Mount Smith is a major manufacturer, so they kind of have their things dialed in. This is their first foray into more ultralight gear, and I think they did a really good job. All the T's are crossed, I's are dotted, and all the pieces are really well put together. I've had this pack for about eight months now, and I've used it a lot. I've used it on a lot of day hikes, a lot of multi-day trips. I put a lot of weight into it as well. I've done multi-day trips where I've had 35, almost 40 pounds in it, and when you start putting weight beyond the listed capacity of the pack, you start running into problems where the shoulder straps may start pulling and the stitching might start busting in different places, but I don't see any of that on this pack and it still feels really solid. That's compared to some other packs where I've had them out for 10, 20 days with a lot of weight in them and they've started just busting at the seams. Another weak point for most packs are the pockets. So these Lycra mesh pockets normally start getting little holes and tears in them all over the place, especially if you're doing some bushwhacking like I've been doing or po putting pointy things. Like you can see I have a little pointy thing right there and a lot of time that'll create some holes, but these mesh pockets have held up really well. I'm surprised because I've been putting a lot of stuff in here that probably shouldn't be and I should be a little bit more careful if I want this pack to last in the long run, which I do because I love it. But overall, I'd say this pack is made with high quality materials, high quality stitching and it's well put together and will probably last you quite a while even if you don't take care of it well. So who is this pack for? A lot of people say this pack is too heavy for an ultralight pack but other people say it's too light to carry a lot of weight and I'd say both parties are right it kind of hits that middle ground and that's where I really like it I don't have a super ultralight kit I have to carry a bit more weight for camera gear as well as some warmer clothing living up in Canada and the pack carries that weight really well so if you're in the same boat then this pack may be for you and if you're looking to go frameless and, and without a hip belt then I would really consider this pack if you are looking at this pack you have to make sure that it's going to fit everything that you need in it it is 40 liters but I find I can easily fit about five to seven days of stuff with it if I don't have camera gear. And that's a fairly lightweight setup, but not super ultra light, no Dyneema tent or anything like that. And what helps a lot is having the big mesh pockets everywhere, a lot of storage options there. If you need a little bit more space, you could throw in a fanny pack and that add a bit of capacity as well. Outside of wanting to go with a frameless hip outless pack, I think one of the big reasons why I really like this pack is it also is usable for day hikes. You can really cinch it down with these side straps, compress it, and because it has a running vest style as well, you can take it on some day hikes and it's gonna be great for that. I use it probably on just as many day hikes as I have multi-day trips and it works really well for that. So because of that, you could also save some money by getting this pack. You don't need to get a multi-day pack as well as a day pack. You can just get this one pack and it's fairly affordable at $200. A lot of other ultralight packs, you're gonna be going much more expensive than that. And if you have to also then get a day pack on top of that, then it's gonna be a lot of money. If you wanna pick this pack up, I'll post a link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.